Hello everyone, I'm Dennis Cometti. Well, if a green creature approached me from outer space and asked me to show it a good day out, I would, without a moment's hesitation, take it unswervingly to Melbourne. Gee, it's great to be back. Tonight, we're at the MCG. It's a clear moon for tonight's game. With 800 goals and 282 games to his credit, I'm joined now by Matthew Richardson. Thanks, Dennis. Expecting something very special here tonight. Taking the field tonight will be the Bombers versus Hawthorne. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banner looks great and everything is spelt correctly. Mind you, I'm the last man to watch. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. Umpire tosses the coin. Opening round of the AFL season, and what a match we have. One of the most eagerly anticipated matches ever held at the MCG. Yes, in fact, week one rarely provides a true form guide to the season. Just waiting for the opening siren now. I'm excited for this one, Richard. To uncover your true potential, you must first find your own limits, and then you've got to have the courage to blow past them. Brown gets the hand pass. The bouncing ball is controlled. Merritt with the hand pass. Going for goal number one. Goal to the Bombers. Brown getting his course. They've got the break they need, but will it be the catalyst to drive them home? The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Lewenberger totally outclassed in that contest. Watson gets the ball. Gathered by Frawley. He has the ball. Watson plays a hard tackle and forces the ball to spill out. Langford has the ball. Kolyuk onto the ball. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. Duraid comes away with the ball. He has the ball. Good bandage, play on. Hodge running too fast for that pass. In the back. In the back. They should dust him for fingerprints. He kicks quickly. Caught by Stanton. Nice drop punt. Hodge takes the mark. Slams it on the boot. Puopolo with the catch. Picks it. Marked by Bruce. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. Out of bounds, dangerous spot near the goal. Jams it on the boot now. He wins the contest. Kelly has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week which really helps when structuring the time. He kicks the ball. Mitchell marks it. Sending it on its way. Watson thought he had him, and now he looks more confused than the audience at a screening of Mulholland Drive. Less than one goal in this match. The Hawks still very much in it. That's one area of his game that does need improvement. Hurley waiting to bring it back into play. A solid mark from Mitchell. That had some power behind it. A mark by Puopolo. Jams it on the boot now. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Quick hands find the running player. 
He gathers the loose ball. Collected by Leuenberger. He's got the football now. Bagley gives the ball to the man on the run. Handballs from the Bandage tackle. Sends it into the open paddock. The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. Mitchell gets the ball. Catch by Gunston. Gunston. He's creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Puopolo kicks it. He lines it up with the goal. Hawthorne with a chance to take the lead if this one sails through. Clears now. Caught by Omara. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Bagley gets the ball. He gets his hands on the footy. Watson is a total bone cruncher. Coaches certainly don't want anybody taking a backward step, but you'd hope your boys don't have to face guys like him too often. Lewenberger can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Hooker hand passes the ball. Puts boot to ball. Hodge with beautiful hands above the head. He really is a great target to kick to. Boots it. He gathers the loose ball. Stanton with the ball. Superb handball. He collects the loose ball. Roost with the interception. He brings it out of the pack. Nice hands. Kuopolo has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. He boots it. Sicily with a strong mark. He'll need his Saturday or Sunday best from here. A set shot on a 30 degree angle. He can't get it home from that distance. Hawthorne, no time to drop off. Less than a kick the difference. That's one area of his game that does need improvement. Has a few options. A good mark under the circumstances. Shields kicks for goal. McAvoy intercepts it. Superb handball. The chance right here to overtake what's been a powerful opposition. Less than a goal, the difference. Hawthorne still in with a chance. Disappointing kick there. Hurley can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. McAvoy <gasps> with the ball. He kicks the ball. Puopolo gets the catch. Puopolo taking a chance at goal. And the mark will be paid. This will put Hawthorne in front. He's missed. Was that a brave attempt or a stupid attempt, Witcher? Bit of both, I think, Dan. It's not the score he was looking for. has a few options. Lewenberger got under it. Puts boot to ball. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Bruce seems like he's enjoying his footy. I think he's going to be around for a long time. He gets boot to the ball. Shields with the mark. He kicks the ball. 
He grabs it. Jams it on the boot. Altitude with attitude. Hippled with a long kick. Oh, perfect ball, perfect positioning, and a perfect mark. Kicks it. Myers takes the mark. Myers is a freak at understanding and anticipating his opponent's actions. Puts boot to ball. Watson, just the better man in that contest. He kicks the ball. Zaharakis with good strong hands. Kicks horribly. Sicily claims the ball. Sicily sends one up towards the wing. Takes it well. Merritt puts the ball in the hands of Fate. Chip kick along the wing. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Merritt, he's a smart guy, but he's got to keep it cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Mitchell, just the better man in that contest. Sending it on its way, he wins the contested mark. His stab kick once killed a small dog. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The dog was huge. Hipple gets the kick off before he's poleaxed by Roost. Hodge dishes it off by hand. Handballs from the tackle. I hope that's not serious. He looks to be in a lot of pain. That's, a that's pretty serious. He'll be out for at least the rest of this match. Gets good to high. He has no trouble grabbing that one. Watson on the ball at the moment. Lobs the pass. Fantasia with the shot. He's missed. Was that a brave attempt or a stupid attempt, Richard? He needs to think more about it when in front of goals. I would have expected him to nail that. Frawley can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Brown with good strong hands. O'Meara gets the loose ball. He gets the ball. Jurey puts his boot on it. He marks the ball. Puts boot to ball. A nice contested mark. Bumps the big skin. Handball finds Bagley. Intercepted. Is in his possession. Hippled onto the ball. Shields gathers. He gets his hands on the footy. He's a ball magnet. Kick by Hodge. Now oh, that's just giving the ball away. Roost takes him down, but the kick is away. Approaching the goals now. That shot wasn't Out meant to hit ball. the man. Out of bounds near the goal. McDonald, Tip and Woody with the ball. He has the ball. Advantage, play on. Pure skill. Pure skill. Hawthorne to win the lead. I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. His face says it all. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. The umpire has bounced the ball. McAvoy leave the pinatas for the kids. Mitchell on the ball at the moment. Interception. Lewenberger shoots off the handball. He's racking up possessions. Watson plays it off to the running man. He runs into the goal. Score for Essendon. The first goal for Glumenberger. The Bombers goes back in front. He's putting on a masterclass with goals like that.
Return the centre clearances off his ruck work. Keppel with real good use of the body. Puts boot to ball. Puopolo with good strong hands. Gets boot to leather. Shields looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Sends the Sheeran on its way. The loose ball picked up by Bruce. Hook it, lays it off to the running man. Like the song says, don't you just need someone to shove? Watson goes to midfield. Lewenberger gets the upper hand. Choose to kick it. Great grab. Goes up the line. Hipple with the mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. Taken by Mitchell. Mitchell is really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Kelly slams the ball to his boot. He slams that on the boot. Merritt with beautiful hands above the head. He really is a great target to kick to. Fantasia with the air. He surely won't miss from this distance. He boots it. Fantasia. Boy, did they ever need that. The Bombers with the upper hand in this match. And it shows on the scoreboard, leading 19 to 10. i got to say, that's even a better goal the second time around. Fantasia, happy. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Clean tap out of the ruck. Scoops up the bouncing ball. He grabs it on the run. Shields intercepts it. Jams it on the boot. Hands like dinner plates. Hawthorne haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. Merritt puts his boot on it. He takes a strong mark. He slams that on the boot. Mitchell gets the catch. Gets boot to high. He gets it above the crowd. Bruce boots it. And the mark will be paid. The Bombers can front by nine at quarter time. They're in front and they deserve to be in front. They stepped up in all areas and really made their opposition look second rate. Time to check the stats, Richo. Both teams are sitting fairly even on the board in marking contests. The handball stats show that the two teams are fairly even with the Bombers on 25 and the Hawks on 19. Haven't thought of it quite like that, Richo. Set to commence. If you aren't going all the way, why go at all? Unfortunately, placed ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. Punch by Lewenberger. Lucky bounce collected. Ball up in the center square. McAvoy with the first touch. He controls the bouncing ball. Handballs to the running man. He gets another possession. The loose ball picked up. Don't know how he managed to get that out of the pack. Going for goal number two. That's three in a row for Essendon. The Bombers by 15 points. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are at conjuring something out of nothing. Fantasia loves that. 
The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Tapped by McAvoy. Merritt gets it out of the congestion. Watson replies back. Brown has his head down now. He's got the football now. He's got the footy in his hands. Kolyak pulls the trigger with the ball sailing for goal. The Bombers in front. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are at conjuring something out of nothing. He's enjoying that goal, and why not? Ruckman awaiting the bounce. More bounce than a dodgy check. Getting beaten in the ruck is a real recipe for disaster and could potentially lose this game for the Hawks. Dorley gets bumped. He gets his hands on the footy. Hodge gets the ball. Good hand skills there. Sicily kicks the ball. Shields lining up with the goals. A solid mark from Fluenberger. Hooker runs past and gets the ball. Sends the Sharon on its way. It was all his. Jams it on the boot now. Marks. Kicks it across the ground. Brawley has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Hawthorne just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. Puts boot to ball. Mitchell with the football. Mitchell with the ball. He gives the ball away. Bagley sends one up towards the wing. He picks it up. Hits the running man. He's a ball magnet. Brawley gets the ball. Stratton charges fiercely with a powerful bump. Takes possession. Fantasia gains possession. She's running hot, Richo. Yes, super work from him in this match, Dennis. He just can't get out of the action. Stratton, a good crummer. The advantage is played. Gathered by Brawley. Gives it to the running man. Bruce slams it on the boot. Brawley sends one up towards the wing. Takes it well. Jams it on the boot now. Sicily presents and takes the mark. Sicily is a great mark on the lead, but he can sometimes get worked under the ball in the contest. If he can lift his overhead capability, he will be a star. Puts boot to ball. Watson with the ball. Puts boot to ball. That's a mark. He boots it. He grabs it. Booted by Mitchell. Wins the hard ball. Few upload with a perfect drop punt. Hurley collects it. I haven't seen him for a while, Richard. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball, Dennis. Merritt runs past and gets the ball. Gets boot to high. He takes an uncontested mark. He lays off the pass. Pressure didn't phase him. Kicks as cool as the other side of the pillow. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Jams it on the boot. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Sends it on its way. Brown hand passes it. That ball is becoming a yo-yo for him. It keeps coming back. The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. Essendon have scored the last five goals. The Bombers leads by 27. The kick is about as straight as a shopping trolley, and it's a goal. He's enjoying that goal, and why not? The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Lewenberger gets the tap. Brawley picks up the loose ball. Watson onto the ball. An easy grab for Roberto. Roberto launches one towards goal. The Bombers lead Hawthorne 38 to 10. I would have expected him to nail that.
Looks like he'll go out wide. Sicily presents and takes the mark. Hawthorne just can't find a free man inside 50 and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. Good mark. He boots it. Strong mark there. All of a sudden the ball has become a hot potato. Quickly disposed of by Shields. Shields to kick it. Massive screamer from Kuopolo. Gets boot to high. Gunston with the mark. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger, so they tell me. Gunston chits for goal. Miss for a behind. This is the footy equivalent of rope a dope. Hawthorne are barely hanging on right now. I would have expected him to nail that. Hurley's shown a lot of character with his recent performances. Mitchell with great hands. He gets boot to the ball. McDonald tipping Woody with the interception. He takes the footy. Lewenberger finds the running player. Head down now as he goes in for the goal. It goes through for a behind. They've got a behind. Now they need to switch on because there's a real chance the opposition can go coast to coast and put them further behind. Disappointing kick there. Not much on offer for Hurley. The contest, no match for him. Choose to kick it. Solid catch. Kicks it across the ground. The mark is taken by Watson. Thumps the pigskin. And the mark will be paid. Slams it on the boot. Nice hands. Watson doesn't even break stride when gathering the loose ball. Just clean hands. He slams that on the boot. Mitchell gets the upper hand. He boots it. Kelly with the catch. Sending it on its way. The mark will be paid. Heads for the boundary line. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Slams it on the boot. Lewenberger gains possession. He's had lots of touches this match. Bagley is streaming past and gets the footy. Tackle but gets the handball off. He receives the handball. A mark by Brown. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. Through for a point. Essendon with a handy break, leading the Hawks 39 to 12. He'll be disappointed with that effort. Frawley's shown a lot of character with his recent performances. Langford gets a favourable bounce. He lays off the pass. Oh, he's injured. Merrick has got a really good pain tolerance, but gee, that looks nasty. Whack. Have that, mate. He gets the hand pass. Fantasia starts in his shadow beside him. Where else would it be? Well, oh, depends on the Essendon lead Hawthorne. That's one area of his game that does need improvement.
He may just play onto himself here. The options are few and far between at the moment. Myers was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. Myers gives a great mark, strong overhead and on the lead. Sending it on its way. He gets it under pressure. Zaharakis goes for home. That's a nice, strong mark. 35 metres out. A 45 degree angle for this kick. Drifts wide to go through for the high. The Bombers lead Hawthorne. That's one area of his game that does need improvement. Frawley assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. Takes it well. He decides to play on. Handballs. Ball spills in the tackle. The loose ball scooped up, finding the running player. Sends the ball out into space. Advantage. Keeps Play it close on. to the ground. Parrish takes the knife uncontested. Parrish has so much potential, he could just be anything. He handballs it, puts boot to ball. Puopolo Let's gets the on. catch, sending it on its way. Bruce gets the upper hand. Gets boot to high. Strong no. mark. Lining up the goal now. Lewenberger on the ball at the moment. Bagley trimming the grass with that kick. Puopolo is streaming past and gets the footy. Thumps the big skin. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Puts boot to ball. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Slams it on the boot. Mitchell catches it. Mitchell has got all the makings required to become a great servant of this football club. I reckon he could become a 200 game player. Puopolo puts his boot on it. Handballs it into open space. He handballs out into space. Ball It'll up. be a ball up. Lewenberger thumps it forward. Hand passes. Player starting something with a 1 2. Stanton gives it back. And now we'll have a ball up. McAvoy punches it. Langford gets it on the bounce. She's running hot, Richo. Yes, he's giving 100% right now. He's a ball magnet. Big thump from McAvoy. Able to grab it on the half volley. Things not looking good for Frawley. I don't think he'll be coming back out. That was nasty stuff. Essendon by five goals. He'll be disappointed with that effort. It's time to roll the dice out there and see how the game might open up. Yes, the Hawks might get hurt on the rebound, but I think more scoring opportunities will present themselves. The ball is mopped up. Shields, handballs to the man on the move. Clean pick up. Hodge by hand. Slams it on the boot. Bruce with an easy mark. 50 minutes from home. And he's kicking on a 30 degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. Every footballer scores better when he actually learns his capabilities. They really needed a goal there. I would have expected him to nail that. They may have no option but to kick it long up the middle right here.
McAvoy with the mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. Nice mark there. Shields setting his sights on the goals. He's a long way from home, but he's a chance. Shields takes the mark. 45 meters out. The ball is stopped towards goal by Shields. Oh, no good. That won't help. They need a goal. The Hawks should really pack up and go home at this stage. I would have expected him to nail that. The Bombers have been taking the time to size up the right option at the right time so they haven't been hurt on the turnover. And that's why they're on track to win this match. Bagley kicks the ball. He marks the ball. Myers covers some ground with that kick. Bruce, with good strong hands, puts boot to ball. Puopolo marks it. McAvoy on the lead. Solid as a rock, and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. 65 metres out. Scoops up the bouncing ball. There's been a lot to enjoy in the second quarter. The scores at the Bombers, 42, Hawthorne, 14. Don't give up at half-time. Concentrate on winning the second half as well. Is there anything interesting in the stats, Richo? Both teams near equal in terms of kicking stats. The Hawks with 85 and the Bombers with 66. It doesn't get much closer than that. You always have that unique perspective on things, Richo. Well, that's the first half of the match. Come back in a few minutes and we'll have plenty more footy to play. second half. Make sure your worst enemy doesn't live between your own two ears. Gets the loose ball. An easy interception for Ziegler. Gets boot to leather. Great mark. Gets boot to leather. Nice hands. Chip kick along the way. The mark spoiled for Puopolo. Kelly needs to be more aggressive whilst on the field. He tends to get pushed around a bit. Lewenberger gets onto the ball. Parrish controls it. Virtual kicks it out of the congestion. Nice contested mark by O'Mara. O'Mara doesn't even break stride when gathering the loose ball. Just clean hands. Hooker gets the catch. He steers it out of the defensive 50. Few upload the better man there. Kicked in a flurry. Marked by Stanton. Clears now. Solid catch. Kicks. Intercepted by Lewenberger. Has it now. Intercept by McDonald, Tip and Woody. Winning the tackle count is a key ingredient for success, but you have to win the contested ball and hit your targets first. And the Hawks haven't been able to do this. He scoops up the loose ball. McDonald tip and Woody has the ball. McDonald tip and Woody has the ball. Bagley finds the running player. No doubt in the umpire's mind there at all. Free kick. Punishing kick from Blumenberger. Got out the better man there. Kicks it across the ground. Good mark by Heppel. Puts boot to ball. Solid catch. Boots it. 
Great grab. Even though the Hawks were behind on the scoreboard, I think they'd be proud of their dominance in the marking contest, and so they should be. Mitchell with a strong mark. Mitchell being penalised there. Watson boots it. Bruce with the mark. Slams it on the boot. Solid as a rock, and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Hipple puts it on the boot. Great grab. He has a mighty kick at the footy. Wins the hardball. Gets boot to high. He picks up the loose ball. Passed by Bruce. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. Well, Dennis, I just think he's having fun with them now. McAvoy has the ball. The loose ball scooped up. Goddard lays it off to the running man. Don't know how he managed to get that out of the pack. His stab kick once killed a small dog. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The dog was huge. Hawthorns just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. That's a nice strong mark. He kicks the ball. Langford with the catch. Get some power behind that one. Ziegler handballs it to the open paddock. Laverde looking like a Manchester United player. Advantage, says the umpire. Yes, and Dover. Hawthorne by 34. There's one for the time capsule. Kolyak knows that was something special. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Lewenberger outstretches his opponent to win the ruck. The ump has had enough. It's a ball up. Lewenberger can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Zaharakis heading in now. It's intercepted. Stratton finds the pass. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. Even under extreme pressure, he's got the handball out. Quick hands finding the running player. He has clearly been shopping at playing as a rutz. Now we've got a ball up. Lewenberger guides it. Liberde collects. Parrish dishes it off to the running man. Approaching the goals now. That doesn't look too good. He must be injured. Can you tell us more, Richard? He looks to be in a lot of pain. He'll be going off now, definitely. Gleason off for Essendon. It looks like the umpire has decided it's a boundary throw-in. Palms it down nicely. The ball mopped up. Baller. McAvoy didn't even get close to that tap. No Claimed by McAvoy, the spilled ball is collected. Squeezes out a handball. We get a ball up on the wing. Clean tap out of the ruck. Bruce has the ball. Handballs from the tackle. McAvoy with the kick. Catch by Sicily. Sicily is one of the most astute decision makers in the game. Footy is becoming more and more a thinking game. And you can't be out there purely on physical ability. He's a great asset to his club. Gets boot to high. Nice mark there. Works it across the ground. He's no oil panning, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. Kelly presents and takes the mark. Kicks. A mark by Watson. Loves the pass. Parrish. Again, Richard. Yes, he's had it again, Dennis. He just seems to be everywhere tonight. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell me. The ball crosses the line. Empire calls for a boundary throw. Look at the big eaters. They're doing their exercise now as this ball comes into play. Dishes it off to the running player. Stratton tackles too high on Blumenberger. 
Fantasia aiming for the goals. Moves it quickly by hand. Someone's on the ground. I don't think he'll be coming back out. That was nasty stuff. Bruce taken high, and he'll get the free kick. Gets boot to leather. Takes that one strongly. It's clear that the Bombers could have been practicing their marks during the week. They've wrapped up plenty of catches, contested or not, and it's showing on the scoreboard. Laverde takes possession. Wide cross. Pam passes the ball. Bruce. Pam passes the ball. Sicily with the kick. He marks the ball. Kicks it. Great mark over the pad. Looks like he panicked there. Duopolo catches it. Sends the show and on its way. Choose to kick it. Parrish shocks the ball away. Roost with the ball. Handballs. McAvoy runs in. Nice interception. He's got the football now. That ball is becoming a yo-yo for him. It keeps coming back. Superb handball. Brown steers the ball towards goal. Now that miss could prove costly. The Bombers in front. It's not the score he was looking for. Frawley to bring it in. Nice hands. Segler is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Sending it on its way. Langford with a strong mark. Kicks it across the ground. Well, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. The contest, no match for him. Chip kick along the way. A good mark under the circumstances. Goes short to the hand pass. Duopolo gets it back from Shields. With no time to spare, he gets the ball away. Hooker has the ball. Don't know how he managed to get that out of the pack. Oh, that's just giving the ball away. Great grab. Hooded by Miles. Great mark. Bruce doesn't need to run to every contest because he's just so great at reading the play. He can play a kick ahead or behind the play and still rack up possessions. A good contested mark there. He slams that on the boot. No run around troubling him there. Gleason slams the ball to his boot. Bruce not wasting time. Elects to play on. He has to hold on to those. Squeezes on a handball. Virtual taken high and he'll get the free kick. Kicks it. Caught by Hunter. Hawthorne have taken plenty of marks, but they haven't converted enough into goals. That's why they find themselves trailing. Gunston wins the contested ball. Boy, do they need to score. It's in the air. He gets the behind. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. That's one area of his game that does need improvement. Teammates scrambling to make a lead. McAvoy catches. He's kicked back the proverbial mile. He wins the contest. Stanton with the kick. What did they used to say at school? Butterfingers lets it drop. And the ball goes sailing out of bounds. He simply stepped the ball over the line. The umpire has thrown it in. McAvoy directs it down. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Lobs the pass. Keeps it close to the ground. He takes an uncontested mark. Has it now. Kodiak is starting to get a lot of the football. That's seven in a row for Essendon. Essendon with a handy break, leading the Hawks 55 to 15.
Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are at conjuring something out of nothing. Kolyuk with the goal, and he runs back into position. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. McAvoy really gets onto this one. Wow, some of his hits border on felonious assault. He's heading for home, going for goal number one. The kick just clears the line for a goal. The Hawks not enjoying this. The Hawks need to play on at all costs now and start getting some more running goals on the board. I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. Mitchell is relieved to see that one go through. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. McAvoy is the heart and soul of this footy club. I don't think he'll be going anywhere anytime soon. O'Meara hand passes the ball. The ball goes nowhere. Mitchell grabs the ball on the bounce. Head down, going for goal. Hocking dishes it off to the running man. He boots it. No one around troubling him there. Ziegler doesn't waste that opportunity. Roost on the ball at the moment. He grabs it on the run. That ball is becoming a yo-yo for him. It keeps coming back. He has space for an easy mark. Dishes it off to the running player. An easy grab for Bradford. Essendon lead at the end of the turn by 34. The Bombers have all the momentum going into the last quarter. Hawthorne need to respond, initiate some different options to wrestle this match back. As we go into the final break, the scores are the Bombers 55, Hawthorne 21. Both coaches will be anxious, no doubt, to reinforce the importance of the last quarter's performance to their players. Well, they're still in it, but they need something to ignite them in this last quarter. They can't expect their opposition to hand it to them. Is there anything interesting in the stats, Richo? Both teams near equal in terms of kicking stats. Hawthorne with 121 and the Bombers with 100. It doesn't get much closer than that. In terms of marking, neither team looks to have an advantage over the other. Thanks for sharing that with us, Richo. Quarter. After each game, I always wanted to be able to say, I gave all I could. I gave it my best. Handball short. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Watson misses and gets it behind. That could be the final nail in the coffin. It's not the score he was looking for. Crawley to bring it in. Takes that one strongly. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this range. Chips it down towards half forward. Myers presents and takes the mark. His stab kick once killed a small dog. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The dog was huge. Look, the Hawks haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. He marks the ball. Kelly takes the mark. He boots it. It's a mark. Gets boot to leather. Merritt with the catch. Picks it. He wins the contest. He plays on. Strong mark. Roost drilled that kick in. Solid catch. The Hawks just can't find a free man inside 50, and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. Lewenberger kicks it. Goddard marks the ball. Heads up the corridor. Merritt grabs that one. Puts good to ball. Hands like dinner plates. 
A long way out. Puts boot to ball. Myers marks it. Don't take too long, long enough to go. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. Jouade gathers. Handballs from the tackle. He grabs it on the run. Out of bounds out near the, the goal. Full. Ball goes over the line and out of play. Sicily with the kick. Nice mark there. As cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. A risky proposition from here. We'll need a big kick to make the goal. A set shot on a 45 degree angle. Merritt will have to put everything into this one. He's on a 30 degree angle. He picked it up off the ground. Stabs the ball. Good mark oh. by Myers. Puts good to ball. He wins the contest. Kicks the skin off it. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. He got a hold of that one. He wins the contest. A rush kick. Great grab. Hawthorne just can't find a free man inside 50, and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. He slams that on the boot. It comes off hands. Heppel with handball. Watson returns it. He kicks the ball. There's no contest for that mark. Chips it down towards half forward. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Kicks. Roost wins the marking contest. Gets boot to high. Strong mark by Kelly. Chips it down towards half forward. Over the top of the pack. Sicily just has hands that are magical. He just takes the pop so cleanly. Puts boot to ball. Great grab over the top. Kicked by Watson. Look at looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. He wins the contest. Hastily kicked. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Gets boot to high. Roost looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Jams it on the boot. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Essendon haven't taken many inside 50 forward marks, and their ability to nail goals on the run is what's keeping them in front of the Hawks. Birchall boots it. Sicily with a huge leap. He slams that on the boot. Bruce with the ball. Kicked in a flurry. Shields has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Duopolate presents and takes the mark. Choose to kick it. Strong mark. Gets boot to leather. And the mark will be paid. The Hawks have taken plenty of marks, but they haven't converted enough into goals. That's why they find themselves trailing. It'll be a ball up. Lewenberger looked about as coordinated as Disney's Goofy. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Rioli making his way in. Let's hope he's compensated for the win. The Hawks have scored the last two goals. A big margin, but lots of time left. The Hawks have been really predictable out there. They need to mix it up, break the line, start taking more of a chance, or this game will be lost. He scores, he scores, he scores. What an absolute classic. Congratulated by his teammates. All is in readiness. Good bounce. McAvoy just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid grow. 
Heppel gains possession. Heppel with the football. Shields takes possession. It hits its target. Bagley intercepts it. Merrick with a strong tackle. He knocks the ball free. He lays off the pass. That ball is becoming a yo-yo for him. It keeps coming back. Handballs. Merritt launches one towards goal. They say you miss 100% of the shots you never take, so hopefully he can just shrug that one off. I would have expected him to nail that. Looks like he's going to go long. Catch by Stanton. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. The loose ball picked up. He has the ball. Hodge has the ball. Having a big day going for goal number four. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Disappointing kick there. He may just play onto himself here. The options are few and far between at the moment. Marked by it, truly. Even though Hawthorne put behind on the scoreboard, I think they'd be proud of their dominance in the marking contest, and so they should be. Merritt kicks it. It's a mark. Puts boot to ball. That's a nice, strong mark. Looks like he panicked there. A solid mark from Omara. Omara kicks hard along the boundary line. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Buopolo wastes no time and bangs it forward. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. A 45 degree shot is not too hard, he just has to keep his cool. Gunston gets the interception on the bounce. Nice interception. Shields taken high and he'll get the free kick. Shields tries his luck with a shot at goal. They've got to start swinging like a 70s disco to get anywhere near from here. It's not the score he was looking for. Hurley waiting for his teammates to break. They're using the Tokyo subway play. McAvoy. Ah. McAvoy obviously loves playing for the club. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. Puts boot to ball. Heppel ah. marks it. He's got a hold of that one. Langford catches it. A desperate kick there. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. That's a massive kick. Stanton takes the mark. Stanton kicks hard along the boundary line. Lobs the pass. A clean pickup. Nice interception. He receives the handball. Duray has had plenty of it, Richo. He's using the ball superbly, Dennis. Sweeping handball. The Bombers are in control of this game. It's not the score he was looking for. Frawley assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. Watson read the play better than anyone else and takes possession. He grabs it on the run. Frawley tackles too high on Stanton. 
kicks. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Brown with a pretty easy kick. Going for goal number three. That ball's travelling. Brown sinks the long kick. He's giving it all he's got this match. That's number three. The Bombers forwards are marking everything and converting their set shots. It's meant that the Essendon midfielders have had complete faith in their forwards and are using them as the preferred avenue to goal. He scores, he scores, he scores. What an absolute classic. Brown knows that was something special. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. McAvoy with the tap. Hipple applies a strong tackle. Scoops up the bouncing ball. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Lewenberger with the hit. Brown controls it. The ball in the hands of Frulli, finding the running player. The spilled ball is collected. Watson runs past and gets the ball. Myers with the running catch. Head down now as he goes in for the goal. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Hawthorne have been able to take more marks out there, but most of these have been from playing possession footy. They need to start taking a few more risks out there. He boots it. Good mark. Lining it up with the goal now. Goddard gets the intercept. The loose ball is collected. Bruce takes possession. He grabs the footy. Really solid use of the body to outmark his opponent. Kicks it. Watson claims the ball. Sends it on its way. Merritt wins the marking contest. Merritt is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. Puts Boot to ball. He grabs it. He kicks the ball. Good mark. That's a mark. He slams that on the boot. Watson takes a contested mark. He gets his hands on the footy. Mitchell intercepts it. He shows the quick hands. Gets boot to leather. Puopolo gets the mark without contest. Nice bit of power there. He receives the handball. Puopolo with his head down, running for home. It looks like they won't bridge the gap before this clock runs out. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are at conjuring something out of nothing. Puopolo knows that was something special. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. The bounce straight down. Clean tap out of the ruck. Bounces favorably for Shields. Bruce can passes the ball to the runner going past. Stanton is an absolute ball magnet. Gets a handball away towards the man on the run. Marked by Duray. Duray. He's got a decent leap on him, but there's still some room for improvement. He slams that on the boot. The mark will be paid. He steadies now in front of goal. Caught by Curry. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. 40 metres out. I'm lost for words after that kick. Can you help me out, Richo? That was one of the worst shots at goal I've ever seen. It's not the score he was looking for. Frawley waiting for his teammates to break. They're using the Tokyo subway play. Nice hands. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Stabs the ball. Frawley has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Hawthorne were punished. Richo, how did you see their performance in today's game? 
Grass grows, birds fly, waves pound the sand, and Essendon beats teams up. Cheers, Richard. At the final siren, the score, the Bombers, 66, the Hawks, 34. That's it for us. I will see you again, but not yet. Not yet. Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce.